Thanks for listening to The Shit Show, live from Oakland at Yali Bird Studios. And don't forget to check out our brand new merchandise store at theshitshow.store. And if you get a chance, please rate us on iTunes. We greatly appreciate it. I saw lights, I saw stars, and I saw things that gave me scars. I know it believes what I'm saying. All right, y'all, welcome to The Shit Show. My name is Drake. To my left is our completely blocked out other host named Jimmy the Jew. And we are we have some special guests here today from the Treehouse Dispensary in Santa Cruz. We got Dominic and Mary. What's going on, y'all? Hi. How's, How's it going? going? What's up, know. Jimmy? How you feeling, bud? <laughs> Dude, I got pulled out of a hot tub. <laughs> How long ago? Like 10 minutes I'm here. ago, right? All right, you don't want to hear a story. Just so, well, here's the story. So, I kind of want to hear the story. Here's the story. So, last we're night we're not allowed to talk about the story. No, well, we'll give the we'll give the the, Let's get the PG rating. No, we'll give them the NC-17 rating. Okay, there it is. So, Wait, last night we went and saw Collie Buds. Big words. It's a great show. We went and saw Collie Buds, and that's that? where that we fun. that's where we saw you guys. How was that? The show was absolutely amazing. You were supposed to come. Good show. He puts on a damn right. good show. And we share a studio. Like we're in the studio right now. Collie's on that studio, like the studio next door. He's like, he does a good thing. He's come over one time and he even asked Drake. To fucking like do some trumpet, you know, eat a dick at me. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy you know, like, is slurring his words today, y'all. You know what? This, is, this is definitely you know, a true shit. Maybe I'm not supposed to be right now. <laughs> so anyway, so so that's that's how I met you guys last night. So we were there, and our buddy Hillbill, who's standing over here in the corner, who has a big smile on his face because he he's is in, me he's job. in trouble. Naked girls. <laughs> So he leaves this. We're in the Yolly Bird studio right now, and we were hanging out here till about one or two in the morning. And then next thing you know, Hillbill leaves and goes to, to Jimmy Jew's house. Jimmy Jew was supposed to be asleep because we had a long day of recording. But next thing you know, I called Jimmy at eight in the morning, FaceTime, <clears throat> and it's him and two girls and Hillbill just come all completely naked in a hot <laughs> tub. And, and hey, Nick, it's all friendship. It's all Nick friendship. goes, you know what? They haven't slept at all, I guarantee you. And sure enough, no judge they me. haven't. And no judge me. Hillbill, thank God, Hillbill brought you know, Jimmy over I here because been I, I thought that this was not going to happen. So the fact that we're all here is a miracle. Dope. <laughs> this is cool. We have Chris here with us, which is the first time. This is Chris, our producer. This is his first time doing producer, it Producer, editor, and he hates us because I talk really fucked up. I do. I do. And, and he hates me. <laughs> I cough a lot, and he puts me down a lot. But we have Chris here for the first time. You're a bad person. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? You guys have a uh, – where's your guys' dispensary? Shops in Santa Cruz. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, right off 41st Avenue. And uh, I think it's right by the Honda dealership. Yeah, it is. 3651 SoCal Drive. There it is. Bill. Oh, SoCal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, so now, is that in the life. town of SoCal? So yeah, cool? it is. So it's basically, yeah, SoCal. SoCal. Yeah. Which is supposed to be on the Santa Cruz. SoCal. SoCal. Well, when you say Santa Cruz, people know Santa Cruz. And you say Watsonville, people know Watsonville. Yeah. But when you say SoCal, nobody knows what SoCal is. Yeah. yeah My cousins funny. grew up on. Um, some shit on him, some fucking hammer. Some road, <laughs> but somewhere. SoCal was another town. It's actually an actual town. Oh, yeah, it's 100%. It's S-O-C-U. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. So tell us about the dispensary. It is um, like one of the dopest dispensaries, I think, in California. How many yeah. do you guys yeah. have down there? At that one. I'm not even sure how many we have in the area, but is there's there a quite lot? a few. Mm-hmm. There's like, really? I want to say in, San, in like Santa Cruz County, I think there's seven or eight. Not oh too, wow! Not too many. Oh. Yeah, and it, there's a, one that just actually opened up on Ocean Street too. And I haven't personally been to your dispensary, but it's looking at all the You're pictures, it's not a dispensary. It's more of like an experience. Yeah. It really is. That like you guys have art everywhere, all over the walls. You guys have beautiful plants. The employees look like they're more up, like they're actually just customers and just like part of their. So you're like going to talk to your friends to go pick up some that's the vibe we're definitely trying to set we've got an open floor plan like that so you're escorted onto the sales floor and then you get to like pick up the products and ask all the questions because you're working one-on-one with a bud tender that way so you're not like standing on an opposite side of a counter pointing at things so it's kind of cool because there's that interaction so there's cool it's nice it's like that getting familiar with the product is cool being able to pick something up it's like a grocery store i guess you could say it's the same concept getting familiar with the product knowing what it is except you have someone with you super educated that questions. knows all of the things about yeah. every product so it, it's pretty cool definitely. have you guys tried every single product in your store i think dominic has i definitely <laughs> how many, I, how many I'm, products I'm like, is that um we have 
That's a good question. Jesus. I'm going to yeah. say like close to 300 products on our shelves. Really? Yeah, ranging from edibles to concentrates. CBDs, everything. Oh, everything. Anything. Yeah, 100. Yeah, 100%. There is a crazy. medicated That's... lube out. There's actually two. Hey, well, slow oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> this is right up Jim's Don't alley. Right. Okay, wait. So let's, <laughs> slow down. Let's, let's talk about this. What, it, what's the, what kind of a base? Is like a Don't coconut game, oil bro, base? I think there's one that is. One of them's like uh, olive oil, I think. Okay. And then the other one is like a, it's kind of. I'm going to get tested. You work more with the products. I'm trying work to work more with the community, so <laughs> go in. Honestly, uh, I think one of them, I've, yeah, I don't know. One of them is kind of strange. One of them is like an olive oil. It's weird. <laughs> it's a strange product. I know. How I was shocked. Have I was like, what a good just idea. Talk to me. How it's a great idea. It's strange, dude. The one, the one I use, it was like kind of <laughs> weird. It was like a sticky thing. But man. they're real like actual like sexual things. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's like, it's based for that. I guess you could say you right. could use it, but I just feel like it's like a. What else would you use it for? I don't know. I don't know. Tanning? I don't even yeah. feel like... I, I mean, you could really <laughs> use so it for good. anything. I guess massages? Point, I guess. <laughs> Trippy. It's, wait, wait. It's, so, a, it's a funny product. So is, sure. is there a name? What's? Do you guys remember the name of the product? One of them is... Velvet Swing. Velvet sure. Swing. I'm pretty and sure that's one of them. And it's a loop. It's yeah. a real actual sexual yeah. loop. Is it CBD loop. or is it? No, it's THC. THC. Oh, yeah. so you get wow. It's, wait, it's I don't know if it's thing? I don't know if it's transdermal necessarily, but I think that's like the whole concept well, of it. Well, if you put it's it like, inside of a vagina, I'm pretty sure it'll get you stoned. Oh, it's gonna be inside. I mean, you know you've been in a vagina, bro. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> that is 100. I camp out there. No, wait a minute. Technically. <laughs> I've had my fingers in one, and then that's that's as far as I could go. Dude, I was like, nah, I'm not about this. Not putting a date. It's okay. I'll talk about this. Okay, let's talk. So you have, actually have a CBD or a, a, a no, it's not CBD. THC, a THC. Yeah. lube. Yeah, THC so lube. So you get high and lube. 100. percent Shut the fuck up. Same time. <laughs> okay. What and, other? And I've had chicks in the past where you know smoke the weed, you get high. And you Same time. Man, and it's awesome. Lube. But this like, just goes into junk. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. So, so it's floating. So is a body high? Is a body high? I don't. I mean, I don't really think so. I don't think it really does much. I think it's just more like a concept, just a lube thing. It's what other really kind of products do you guys have? Other? So you have lubes, you have CBD. <laughs> <laughs> is, I was going to say, there's, there's a lot more a, going on. Yeah. 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 Huge Let's talk about the flower. <laughs> uh, the flower is actually pretty cool. We got a bunch of stuff. Yolly Bird, shout out to them. Shout so out they to Yolly Bird. Great, great stuff. Um, it is. Um, it, that Yali. product is I mean, they're, in terms of their packaging, I feel like the packaging fits your brand that <laughs> you, you really guys have. Oh. No, it, I'm Package. serious. No, no really, go off on it for real. Like, packaging is huge <laughs> in our industry right now. Like, creating a brand is, is really big, and it's, it's, it's awesome that they've done that. And all their packages definitely stand out compared to a bunch of other stuff. Absolutely. Um, it's not just a jar. It's not just a label. It's like a, it's like a full thing. So it's, it's right. pretty cool. Yeah, and, and their all presence com- all in the compliant. shop. Yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. All tested compliant. and compliant. That is correct. I'm not even tested. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. <laughs> so, how is everything going with uh, owning a shop? Like, are there a lot of is there a lot of uh, issues with like the feds and regulations and stuff? I mean, because a lot of people are they come down here well, a lot. They come into like you're not doing this, you're not doing that. They do that. Yeah, we shit. definitely have someone that is our compliance officer to make yeah. sure that we're always compliant. Wow, in everything really? We do. Yeah, I mean, if someone if you get caught even like smoking on the property right now because we don't have on-site Cigarettes. consumption, no, um, Weed. cannabis, yeah, okay. we could get like $30,000 fines, Shut you know, up. just for like yeah. one little hit or whatever. So it really well, a, is a pretty cutthroat right so there's now. No wow. lounge. Really? So yeah, yeah there's, there's no outside, lounge. We're working on that. Oh, no, Hopefully not within at the all. next year. There's like, yeah, the BCC comes in and they're like, it's, it's a business now. It's a legitimate, like, actually structured business that they come in and regulate and they're making sure like you're on top of everything. Which um, is good. I mean, I, I get it. It's good. I mean, that. if you're paying taxes or something and you're, you're paying a lot of money to the state, you want to be able to kind of get some something back. So it's, 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 it's cool. It's a trip, though. So a client that does come in, you know, buy some cannabis for he's legal, you know, do it. And he goes outside, he can't light up a joint. He has to no, do like, his own regulated area. Well, yeah. yeah, he has to be completely off of, like, the property. Um, it's like, I think it's 500 feet away from the actual dispensary. Um, we can't, can't medicate at all. Is that are you? Is there a permit that you guys are working towards getting? Yeah, so I think I mean it's the it's the city of Santa Cruz basically yeah. in that area. It's really Santa Cruz County it doesn't lounge. allow. Yeah, it doesn't allow on site consumption. Like ready so. for that, but Santa Cruz is trippy. Yeah. So like San Francisco has a couple of places. I think it's like Barbary Cosa has some sort of lounge. Um, you're able to like medicate there, but it's just a completely different license. Like, You've got to get it passed. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're in 2000, working. I was like compliant, no all stuff, and I got three felonies. Literally, I got three felonies from fucking growing pot. It's like for my family, but they busted me for like a lot of stuff. I had a little bit too much because you never know. Because it was like really 
Tipperary back then. Yeah, it was the like back and, and, and forth with area. what was <clears throat> And now it's allowed. so legit things where like you're driving down the street and you literally see billboards with, hey, fucking dispensary. Hey, we'll deliver to your house. I know. Yeah, it still it's, trips me out. I think about like my 16-year-old like, self and how proud I would be shit. of like, walking home. around like the Emerald Cup or something, smoking a joint in public. Like yeah. it still shocks me. Or if I see a cop and I'm smoking, I'm like, yeah, it's still tripping. like it's still there. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's funny. But my, how times have changed. <laughs> that sounds first is nice and see people to actually able to experience the medical version of it. Because I know a lot of people, I don't, I don't get high and smoke weed. It's all fun. Kids, you know, everybody will do it when you're young. But to see people do it for medical reasons is brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's a serious thing. fucking thing to see it. And it's, it's finally for sure. so legalized where people can do it for a reason. Well, yeah. it's interesting to see the people that are finally like opening their eyes and accepting that as something that can be medicinal. You know, like our, the demographic that comes in the shop is kind yes. of shocking. You, you know, you've got a lot of older people coming in asking questions about something that they were always just like, no, that's illegal. I will never yes. do that. Saw it yeah. as a bad thing. And now, you know, drugs. their eyes are 100%. opened and they're the like, oh man, this can actually really help ago. me. So we've got a lot of it's like an place, older crowd that comes in. Yeah, oh, we have people I mean, that come in from the nursing home years old. that get bussed over and they come in and they're little walkers. I love those little grandmas because they, oh, they love adorable. the edibles. Yeah, so it's cute. Yeah, you're but not showing up my window awesome at fucking well. like four in the morning because like eight hey, knocking on the window. To yeah, no, it's weed. You're really like being a safe place to go. And mm-hmm. like, yeah, well, like, people feel comfortable. Some, they're able to buy a product that they enjoy. today. Help me to medicate myself tonight for a real legit fucking thing. Yeah. Which is. It's awesome. Which medical reasons, a lot of pill companies and different companies don't want that. They fucking hate it because it's going to put them out of business. Big, taking a big profit away from them. Oh, 100%. Right. I mean, that's that's pretty much and what it is. That's the part of it. And the pharmaceutical thing is the creating that stigma, I think, and trying to drive it uh, people away from cannabis because um, they see and how no great it is things. and like how there's nothing that's bad about it. There's no negative side effects in it. Who's it's it's, on it's it. awesome. They won't pursue it. No, 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 no one. There's not a single person. So What's the deal with, uh, do you guys still sell vape cartridges even though there's all of this shit going on we in, do. in the media we do. about it? So what's your son? Vape so that whole thing is kind of a again it, i think it's just the stigma trying to be driven a little bit farther um trying to create that negative thing uh, against ganja it's it's super gnarly but all those cartridges that you're going to see are black market stuff right um everything that you yeah. see or comes through our shop is tested so many times throughout the process to make sure it's legitimate Absolutely. um it's consistent it's quality material you're getting and it's like broken down to parts per billion and so in that it's like it's tested you're good. There's yeah, it is worry interesting. About. I mean, a lot of those cartridges are kind of counterfeit cartridges. They pretend to be a brand, right. you know, like a bigger brand or whatever. But if you're not buying it with like at a dispensary, ah. yeah. then <laughs> that's very white, by the yes. way. Barry he's he's talking hi. to me right now. Barry is um, to tell me something. Yeah, if you're not buying it at a dispensary that requires testing like that, then, you know, you could potentially get one of those or have right. one of those or whatever. Right. And so. You just have to be careful. Sometimes pay the extra ten, fifteen dollars. But it's to, worth it, though. So yeah, you're not prevent gonna die. Oh, terrible things from happening to you. You know, it might be worth it. We had a <laughs> guest on here. Um, he works for um, High Rise Co. They're like a, they do a lot of like uh, marketing for the cannabis industry, and yes. he was telling us about companies like that are being copied, like cookies. They, mm-hmm. He was talking about cookies cartridges and how they they don't even make cartridges, but there were there were spots in like Being Florida up, yeah. where people were buying these things and it ended up coming from like China. Oh yeah. And so it's like synthetic pot and who knows what, what yeah, else what is in it. Yeah, what they add into it is the issue like the what, is, what is it? yeah. It's um, like vitamin E acetate is one of the biggest ones. Yeah. Vitamin E is very bad. Yeah, it's it's it's, prick, it's strictly them just trying to, you know, gain a profit. Um, yeah, you shouldn't be inhaling. Vitamin is good for you, but once you turn into a vape thing, right. you once you up, start it's actually not good for you. It. Yeah, you can't yeah. you can't it's smoke like that stuff. Or people don't get it's it's like snorting room. emergency in the morning. <laughs> 100%. Not a good don't idea. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> up in the morning. So, for the whole vape issue, is it is it nicotine as well? Because for a while it was, there was like everyone was just tr- trying to point the blame, but it's it's everything. It's nicotine and tobacco, probably, right? I think you're seeing more problems. Or nicotine with the and nic- weed. I think you're seeing more problems with like the nicotine aspect of stuff. Right. I mean, in that those things aren't really regulated the at nicotine all. Nicotine sucks. Fuck it's cigarettes. Just like nothing. As, as, as Chris, our producer, as Chris is smoking. <laughs> Give me your jewel, your gym. Or well, the reason, that, the reason that the vapes were created was so people could quit smoking cigarettes. Right. So for that aspect of it, it's amazing. Now, some cool people day. continue smoking them because you're supposed to, the way it works, you're supposed to start with a high nicotine count and then you just start to lower it, lower it until you're at 0% and then you're just smoking nothing. 
So then it just comes down to the habit of movement, I guess. Yeah, you know, but habit, right? the habit. <laughs> Good. So I, you guys I, are still selling cartridges, and oh, yeah. you are you are, you stand behind each product. Yeah, 100%. we definitely 100%. have like a statement in a few places around the shop explaining that all of our products have to go through crazy amounts of testing. Um, so hopefully, people can and see that. And where's your location? Um, in Santa Cruz or in SoCal. We're gonna we're, we're gonna cut we're, that we're out. We're gonna throw a little throw out right we're now. We're gonna cut the, we're gonna <laughs> cut going. that part out because we just talked about that. Third time, yeah. I want to keep going out. I, I want to blow it out. Okay, uh, also I'm hammered. Uh, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. <laughs> Everyone come through and, and hang out. Like, like pull so me the, into the, out of a hot tub. Yeah, for come the, to Treehouse for your tested vapes. Yes. <laughs> Have you guys seen any uh, uh, effect in your sales? Because of I think it the definitely vapes. did for a minute, right? like which is why we have our shit. Really? For the vape wise, you guys did? Oh, yeah, 100%. People would come in and be like, I'm not touching a vape for a year. Shut up. Yeah. Really? Because they, don't, they didn't I mean, know Which is no really the interesting. People watch, I mean, people watch the news a lot. People will really kind of dive into that. <laughs> you know, but people really like they play into the news and they really start to believe whatever people are saying or whatever is kind of driven in the hype media. Um, and so, and that, like, yeah, definitely affected yeah. it. For really, that was a hit on the sales, trippy. Yeah, but I mean, now that we're able to kind of educate people and talk to people, it's it's good now. Everything's fine. Oh, yeah. So, and, and the testing is really huge. Like, oh yeah, that's such a huge like. It's crazy. Like, you know, just saying, I did get felonies and I was selling weed, but. We never test this stuff. We never do anything. So, but now with the testing, is a new testing of so, uh, pesticides, tests, all kinds of things. And to see the, the different things is so crazy nowadays. Like you guys get when you see billboards and crazy stuff. It's so crazy just to see like where we've come and to see so many people prosecuted for sales. I mean, I did a lot of time for fucking weed. Yeah. And to do things, and I rattle nobody around, but just you do things that you <laughs> and to now see it's more legalized and it's free and they're still not fully giving people these I like, think that uh, part of the reason it has come so far is because the testing shut aspect. up I'm drunk <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that deserves a round of applause everybody. <laughs> Jimmy Drew for president 2020 2020 <laughs> but for real People were prosecuted a lot back in the day, and they had felonies. People, are, dude, there's, there's no offense. There's people right now doing time for 20, 30, that 40 years. That is definitely an issue that yeah. oh, for wheat, for marijuana back in Mississippi and different uh, states back then, or back there, they're doing actually still to this day doing fucking 30, 40 years to life on weed. Yeah, it's really crazy that you can go to one state and like get in serious trouble for having the smallest amount on you, and then you can come to another one. Like, and I'll it's talk about okay, it now because I got busted. And you can go and buy it, you know, so. It's very interesting. Yeah. I got busted, so I'll talk about I used to go to Nevada and sell uh, pounds back in the day. I got busted for it. I got felonies and shit like that, but I just go up there. And, but Nevada used to have, if you have busted with a seed, one seed of cannabis, you literally lost everything, your car, your Jesus. bike, your fucking house. You lost everything. Now Nevada's you know, a pro state mm -hmm. or pro you know, cannabis state. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there anything that we could, that is going on that you guys, do you guys work on the like the the governmental side at all when you with your business or do you just it. let other people do that because there are a lot of obviously people that make that their life stay out of it is a smart way to do it i think i'm um, one of the co-founders is very involved with what's going on yeah. politically around it bryce Berryessa. um yeah he's he's definitely an advocate for change in the cannabis industry and so yeah. um it's really cool to yeah it's, it's have definitely him always be pushing i think you have to be like political with 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 this game um you have to work with your your county your cities and all that kind of stuff it's creating a good relationship and i think it's, it's weed it's, yeah i mean fucking weed shit goes on trees yeah 100 percent. it's it's from the earth i don't think there's really anything wrong with it for weed it doesn't make sense i it mean my buddy sense. got locked up for selling a, he had a quarter pound of weed on him and went to jail for like six months oh my god it doesn't make insane. any sense you know what i mean it makes absolutely no sense at all so well if there's if there's anything that you any organizations that you guys do work with uh, you can always get if you can Perfect. send those to us. Oh, yeah, We'd be happy to throw those on our social media. We okay. can obviously send it to our network with Yali Bird, and it would be because everyone wants this to everyone wants this to work out. Okay, yeah, they, they are doing sense. things. No, I recently no was to told up. to go to no. the public defender's office, where I did, and talk about getting my felonies reduced. So I went down the, the public defender's office, <clears throat> and there we'll take a couple of them off. They said a couple. One of them was a wobbler, so they couldn't do it. But the public defender for free. Wait, what's a wobbler? Yeah, yeah, well, I was just gonna let's, ask let's a wobbler. Is like, was, I was, 
Making money off something, I don't know. What's a wobbler? Wait, 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 but and another get, rant people, by <laughs> Jimmy Jew. <laughs> but but anyway, no, no, people can't get their like like licenses for different things. You can't get a fucking permit to cut hair. I mean, right you now. can't get anything. If you really have like, yeah. really like, for a week, you. do you? You when, can't get a legal license come, to cut hair. When people come to your shop, it's you just have to have a an ID that says you're over 21, right? Yeah. Was you the shop? You can be 18 or older, but you have to have a medical. Right, because 18, rec, basically. 21. But 21, yeah, if you just want to come in without any medical paperwork or whatever, yeah. Are 21. there any patients who are, like, like 12, 13, like, who are diagnosed with, say, like, some terrible disease? Can they get prescribed cannabis by their doctor? Or, or CBD. Of course, it's going to be frowned upon. Like, that's okay. always an already thing. But at the same time, it is being used um, with children that have multiple things. Epilepsy. Epilepsy. Um, I know someone with epilepsy. Um, and and what they yeah, use. so in that, they, de they definitely do. Um, Rick Simpson oil is a, is a huge thing. It's been mm -hmm. saving right. lives for the longest time. You guys have seen videos. You guys have read the articles and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely being used with There's kids. A, and it's, it's a safe thing. Yeah. 100% safe for them. There's a company um, or an organization called Caladrius in Northern California that's actually advocating for for, you know, children to have their parents obviously be responsible for that, but to make cannabis available for severe cases that actually need it. It's a beautiful company, actually. Can so. you spell that? Caladrius. Not right now. Caladrius. <laughs> Can you use no, that like in Caladrius. a sentence, Is that please? for, like, kids, or is what that, is that like, CBD thing, or is that actually a like, cannabis thing? Um, CBD and cannabis. I know that a lot of it, Rick Simpson oil, it's things like, like that, like that's going to be... A higher ratio to CBD, so you're up into, like, the mm. 30 to 1, 20 to 1. Like um, a Harley Sue would be a higher CBD plant, you know, so that flower. I hear, so. like, epilepsy and stuff, like, a lot of it's really high CBD stuff. In mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's going like, to be the more medicinal aspect of things. I love CBD. And I hear people... Awesome. And I do hear people I take it one. every night. Me I take too. a CBD before I go to bed, yep. and it you're helps gay. me sleep. It's help you. Yeah, damn, it makes me gayer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think you need a little CBD I do hear people saying, like... Yeah, CBD is an everyday thing for me as well. And I hear people saying, no, it's not CBD. What kind of... Kind of th uh, th products in CBD do you guys have, and what are there any? Is there anything new that's coming out CBD wise that we should know about? There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot out. of stuff. I, I personally use tinctures all the time. Pop and Barkley What's or that? Chemistry has a really great tincture. The tincture. The tincture. It's, it's like, like a little, a a little bottle with like a little dripper. You put it under your tongue and you let it sit there, and yeah, then yeah, it absorbs that way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so exactly. The there are, there's edibles actually that have melatonin in them now to help people sleep. Yeah. I have. I use Flower of Life CBD. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. And they He's have. Um, It'll make you gay. Don't do that. He's gay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, uh, they have they have mel they have melatonin uh, CBD capsules, and that's what I that's what I like to, to use. Yeah, that's great. It's amazing. Um, I'm gonna say like a lot of the transdermal um, CBD stuff, patches and topicals and bombs stuff like that. People have aches and pains, and that shit works. And tr so transdermal means that it, you put it on the skin and it will go into it the actually go Yeah, it goes yeah, actually in your bloodstream, so you are going to get like that full effect from it, which is nice. Oh, wow. so. so it's actually topical? topical yeah. yeah, so it's, yeah, it's going to be like a bomb, but it goes topical. beneath the fourth layer of skin, actually into your bloodstream. Cool. Holy it's, it's, shit. Yeah. I, know people, I know people that do that. They make yeah. little rosebuds or different kind of things with like butters and stuff. And I know hella people that go, man, it's one thing that works for me. And literally, they're having like, I what's it called? Lidocaine or all yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. medical shit. They don't like them, and they will literally use fucking CBD stuff or mm -hmm. yeah. you know, for anything. Uh, cannabis based stuff. Cannabis for, drived CBD. There you it's go. It's crazy <laughs> that they will literally use that before, like they use lidocaine or like these medical opiates and stuff. Like, nope. These what else? So good. What else is going on in the world of CBD? Is there anything that you guys have at your shop that's new and exciting? I think one of the first things a lot of people don't really know that there's a difference between hemp derived CBD and cannabis derived CBD. Oh. So if you come into the shop, everything that you're going to get in our shop is going to be cannabis derived CBD. So it's going to be more medicinal because the cannabis plant has terpenes and all of these right. other things that work with the CBD to give you those effects that you're always looking for. Hemp derived CBD is still good. We can't sell it at our shop because for some reason the cross for between law? the two. It's yeah, we're not allowed really? to sell hemp derived CBD. Stop. It, but you can illegal? buy it in a supermarket. Stop. Yeah. Oh, so, you're serious? Yeah, so don't buy it. That is don't, so you're saying don't buy the don't hemp. Don't buy it. Well, mm. why not? Because hemp hemp derived CBD I mean, stuff 
um, when you derive CBD from cannabis, you're getting a lot more. Right. Uh, the hemp derived stuff is but, just. I mean, if, what if you're someone like getting drug tested or something? Go buy the hemp derived okay. CBD, yeah, right. <laughs> like to please like help yourself. And CBD but. is still pass piss test. Um, no. if, if it's cannabis drive CBD, you're still no. going to have a small percentage of cannabis in it. So you'll see ratios like 20 to one. So 20 parts CBD, one part THC. You're, it's not going to be psychoactive at that point. So it cancels any psychoactivity of the cannabis, but you still have traces of cannabis in it. It's so a, you can huge, get a huge thing with people, a lot of people. But what you can actually do is get a uh, CBD a and it's non decarboxylated. So it's actually not activated and it won't show up on any pistol. I definitely want oh, to get into the know. whole CBD a and someone was talking about CBD and all the different CBD cannabinoids. Ones, CBD. So, yeah, but I want to keep talking about the, the whole hemp and cannabis yeah. thing. I've so when I've smoked uh, CBD flower, mm -hmm. is that hemp or is that cannabis or it's it could weed. be, I mean, it's going to be cannabis. It's gonna be cannabis. It's gonna yeah. Be cannabis. Especially okay. if you get it at a dispensary. It's a, if it's like yeah. a flower. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a flower those and those are, are those are nice. It's not, there's not very many strains that are high CBD <laughs> strains like that. Right. Um, some farms like dedicate their whole farm to that so they can start creating oh, things like the teachers and stuff and everyone thinks they're crazy but it's beautiful <laughs> that they do that you know so, so that's, that's crazy that they do that. I always like wondered really, it's like it's really crazy to do that well <laughs> now that we know percentages like you were talking about it can be this much percentage of THC compared to this much CBD they're able to isolate those strains with the higher CBD and then grow those you know knowing that right. going into it so they know it's a high CBD strain so trippy so what is what are all the different CB Blank. CBA, someone's talking about dominant. CBN. <laughs> if, if you guys know, man, it's a pretty... There's yeah, a lot. So CBA, there's CBA. a bunch of different compounds. Um, we'll keep it basic. CBD is one of the main ones. There's like a CBN, a CBG, um, and there's just different things that they CBS? kind of help. CBS is one of I'm them, too. I was a, boom, boom. a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, they all just kind of do different things. Um, CBD is like an umbrella kind of thing. It'll help with anxiety. It'll help with um, inflammation, stiffness, soreness, that kind of stuff. Um, CBDs will help with sleep. Um, it helps with insomnia, with appetite. So CBN, you're you mean? CBNs, I'm yeah. sorry. CBN. Um, yeah, okay. CBN. Do they make you gay? <laughs> 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 which one of these will turn me into... Yeah. Which one of these will make me straight? Which one will make him not like titties? Well, one of them, pray the gay away for me. <laughs> I'm trying to help him. Which one will give Jimmy Jew some hair? Which one will make his dick <laughs> a little bit bigger? I think it's going to make my dick bigger. CBD will make your dick bigger. I like triple strippers. CBG will make like you gay. <laughs> I like triple strippers. <laughs> Actually, I got two strippers. So chemically, what's the difference, do we, what's the difference between all of these? Um, and so it's, it's pretty much they're derived from a CBD or cannabis derived plant. Okay. Um, and so in that, you're actually going to find in a lot of products, their full spectrum. Um, so you're going to find all of these compounds in there. So they're all going to be kind of the same thing. Um, yeah. They just kind of have their own individual little kind of niches that they work with, I guess you could say. So well, for once, instance, like oh. with CBN, CBN um, is what happens when cannabis ages. So the CBD, cheating. yeah, it Why? creates, it turns into a CBN, which is actually a beautiful sleep aid. So like there's a product called Kiko Gortiz, and they have a CBN high um, tea that you drink right before bed. I can't even get through a whole glass of it because I am knocked out. I took a CBN really? capsule the other day, and within five minutes I was Non-psychoactive. Non-psychoactive. Wow. Sure yeah, so it's what happens when weed ages, but we know that now, and now we know what... It does. Everyone's, you know, now we can utilize it. And right. whereas people before would be like, okay, this weed's old. It makes me it's, so tired and I crusty. get the munchies. Right. Oh, wait, why does it make That's me good. tired? It's because it's now CBN. How do you age it? Just like it just literally gets, just it's drying older. it in yeah. your like, Yeah, older drawer. products, you whatever. Leave a jar for you. somewhere and come yeah. back to it. I got bags later. for you right now. You got a They've got <laughs> like capsules of it now. They have tea of it now. They've got edibles with CBN as yeah, well so everything. that's what that is if you have so, trouble sleeping yeah. get some of that that shit works don't throw your old weed <laughs> and what is the law yeah. for weed can you actually like what have an eighth on you if oh, you're out and about so and you like, your cops I mean, you, you have an eighth on you we're talking california we're california talking about we're california. california right now technically, technically, what, yeah. is no, what can we sell every person okay so what so it's it, there's an difference? ounce of flour it's eight grams of concentrate or eight thousand milligrams of edibles. Is that for recreational? It's recreational. Okay, but for so medicinal, it's not like a person walking through the park rack, and gets jacked by like cops, have, you can have an ounce. You. you can have an ounce. You can have an ounce. A full blown ounce of weed. Yeah, because sure. because you're, you're able to go to a dispensary, grab that, and leave. So in that, like that's the legality. That's that's the limit you can buy. Legally, yeah. yeah. Legally, you can also walk around with an ounce on you. Yeah. Can't really smoke it in public. I get that, but you gotta actually have an ounce on you walking around. It's yeah. crazy. 
legal weed, man. It's, it's crazy. It's so what, what it is. It's, it's pretty cool. So crazy. Where do you guys get all of your products from? Uh, do they well, come? Well, hey, slow down. There's a do road. they? <laughs> yeah. I need names. I need numbers. <laughs> no, I mean, like, do it's you get right. all of your stuff? Obviously, you get stuff from California, but do you guys get stuff sent to you from other states? Well, or do you we have can't. to have yeah, it let, here let, in yeah, California? No, let me make it all. Do you guys have to run through, like, uh, Things where you, a distributor. The has, we yes, work with different yeah. distributors for different companies. With under okay. camera and so forth, you know, different things. So yeah, every company works with a different different distribution company, and in that we work with the distribution companies. So we're able to buy different products from all of these different people, okay. um, but we can't buy anything from out of state. It, it's strictly California. Oh, interesting. Really yeah. trippy. Yeah. So okay. yeah, that started. We had to work with um, through a distributor. That started when it became recreational. So all of these different licenses licenses that people could apply for um it, it kind of turned it into like three different categories you could be a dispensary you could be a distributor or you could be the cultivator so there was those three licenses yeah. that people would apply for and if you got granted those then you have to work in oh five licenses okay what is it uh, okay. it's like processing manufacturing oh, right, right. cultivation distribution and then i think the fifth one was like you can have all five of those entities as one if you wanted to so you can pretty much do very everything expensive yours. yeah everything <laughs> it's just like yeah. insane amounts we've had the money to do it though it's smart because then mm -hmm. you're able to kind of push your own product and sell it and produce it and it's all in-house so in that it's crazy i think but it's the way to go for sure yeah That's if true. you have one license you can't jump into the other one unless you guys you are obligated as a so we work a business through to buy from these specific people we have to yeah 100 yes. percent. there's no other way to get cannabis Which is a safe thing at all because i mean that makes it i knew back in the day i grew your weed and stuff like that we didn't really give a fuck like what Pesticides, the shit we use, and nowadays you guys really no, but nowadays Here you guys comes really the cute. rant again. <laughs> did you wait? Well, did you have a but, felony for weed? <laughs> I'm not gay. It's <laughs> <laughs> most important thing. I, <laughs> I'm talking about this right no, yeah, now. No, but you guys are. You guys do you have Instagram? Yes, we do, we do now, have an Instagram. Does Instagram shut you down for posting? Flour. It actually does. So we had to have two different Instagrams for a while because we got <coughs> shut down for posting product shots, which is crazy because I that think so stupid. it's really <laughs> stupid. But you see a bunch of weed companies and like dab people online with like four million followers doing dabs like at the camera. But right. we get shut down for posting a picture of flower. So right now we only have one Instagram. It's oh. at treehouse underscore community. And we mostly post about like our events or people in the shop or artists or the things we're doing outside of cannabis. Right. And then our stories can kind of be more about the companies we work with, but we have to steer clear of posting anything on our timeline. And that is that really a serious is thing. Weed related, which is funny because we're a dispensary. So it's right. like, you're a, le wait, you're a legal this is dispensary. What? You're a legal dispensary. Yeah. A legal dispensary. You, that you is can't compliant post flowers. You can't yeah. post things. We can't. No. What's the guy that just, if one up? person complains, they can shut it all down. So we've literally had to rebuild our Instagram a couple times with like thousands crazy? of followers. So what's the guy just came yeah. up like two days ago yesterday on like video? You want, hey, I just got like 200 extra thousand followers. He created his own Instagram. Who the fuck? What's his name? Uh, the guy. What the fuck? He's a wee guy. He There's created like, it because no of the, he can't post his flower. Burner. Burner. So Burner did Social Club? Social Club. Oh, okay. Which I'm on Social Club. I do a thing. And then... Dominic's you know, got some opinions. Got, I don't know how I feel instantly, about social club, to be honest with you. I but he instantly got 200,000 extra followers in two seconds. <laughs> I know. Let's, like, let's hear the tea. Because Tell us everything. <laughs> so he created a platform to be able to show off your weed in the process of smoking or growing, whatever it may be, because Instagram has these guidelines. You can't have, like, sales or right. cultivation, whatever it may be. Weed Anyways. Burnt is, like, a huge name. You so can't even really say, like, discount but, <laughs> on our um, page. Really? Really. Yeah. At the same time, this thing is ridiculous i get nothing but counterfeit money xanax sellers and strippers the counterfeit vapes too sure like there's like a ton of people on uh, no no no, no like there's nothing wrong with it don't get me wrong but like this is a weed platform vapes. and all it is is just trap stars like trying to well, push drugs like, i got kicked off instagram yeah i had a few thousand followers that kicked off and i went to that because everyone goes to the burger state he's like not knocking on anybody so i was like i'll go into it Come but here. it was more for people to post flower and post their but it's not and things. It's and just, that's what it was supposed to be. It is, but and it's now, not at the same time. he went on there, probably, and goes, hey, instantly we had like 200,000 extra followers, 200,000 fucking followers. Boom. Joe show up. And he goes, and they're all doing like porn stuff and different things because they know those platforms are not kicking people off. Yeah. It was, uh, so what he created it for is not what's being used for. Not at all. No, no. It's, 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 it's pretty it gnarly. It created with that intent, I don't think. Right. But it's Which definitely turned porn. into something a little bit. 
Like, well, everyone's saying that really. everyone's saying that Instagram is is gonna be Fucking dead true. soon because Pictures. I mean really? they're literally yeah because they're so. literally they're shutting down people for just having an account for having too many. They're shutting out a lot of the meme accounts because they they have too many followers and they can right. do whatever they want because you are using their service. It's they right. essentially own everything that you are putting on their. Page. I basically like, meme account the, and I lost. Four hundred something thousand followers because Instagram didn't like what. I, what I was pretty me. bummed yeah. when that went down. Um, to be honest yeah. with you, because that shit was funny as fuck. Yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I wake up every day, post funny shit. Oh, it's Daylight, yeah, it's great. Two hundred something thousand followers, no problem. Nothing dirty, no sex, nothing. But boom, you're knocked off again, for like no real reason. Like I like Trump, fuck everybody. <clears throat> like you know, it's not even for that. It's yeah, uh, they. Yeah. You, you really think so? Yeah. Well, what but do like, you guys with with that? It's fucked up because like, you're knocking people off. Who are building things and building platforms? Now I'm building a new one now with thirty thousand followers, and I really literally wake up and just make thirty thousand people laugh. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you like Trump, hate Trump, or anything. But my platform is just to make people laugh. Yeah. And they literally kick accounts off for stupid shit. And, and there's I no warning post. either, really. The shit's I don't ridiculous. Post it makes no sense. Porn, sex. I don't post no titties. I don't put nothing on there. Can't have fun no more. Sad. You can't have fun anymore, man. Nope. You really can't. When you guys got up. yours, when you guys got your page deleted, did they give you guys any sort of a notice or anything? No, or absolutely just, not. You woke up. Just yeah, dropped. we just woke up in. and someone had reported us is what I gather. Right. Um, so if someone Maybe reports you. Maybe a competitor? You, yeah, possibly. And that's where it's just that's like, oh my God, up. it's it so stupid. It. J-Cats. But we got shut down. We only, we only had 4,000 followers, but for a dispensary, that's <laughs> bigger, you know? And so you start from ground one, right. you know? And you're like posting and oh my God, I'm on the the marketing team and our whole like three days was like holy shit what do we do about instagram right. how do we get this message promoting out promoting nothing you're like promoting flour you're promoting legal weed i so wonder legal, legal weed. california wise legal weed. The I said some states are so into it but you're promoting legal weed i think about this all the time though everyone spends so much time on instagram and how important it is it's like i have to have this many followers but yeah, i wonder if you were to put a dollar amount to each each follower, how much that dollar amount would be, and if it's even worth the amount of time that everyone puts into it, it's virtually worthless. It's completely worthless. worthless. Stop wasting your time. I, had four, I, I, I agree. Had hey, that's followers. part of my job, you guys. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it, but like, if it strictly like, if that's what drives you as a person <laughs> is to like have hella followers yeah. and likes and all that shit, it's like, come on, man. I had four or something thousand followers, and I feel all the time, how much I paid to do this thing? I go, I don't do advertisements. I do this for free because I want to wake up every day. Even when I'm depressed yeah. or not, it's I funny to me. Make, yeah. Four thousand people laugh or do things. Yeah, and that's fucking and you, great. That's really what it's for. Following, you know, I don't do anything negative. There's no nudity. In it. It's when people laugh, and there were still people out there that, that disregard it. It's They've like taken a platform of just to kind of be able to do whatever you want, share a picture, a funny moment with your friends, family, whatever it may be, and right. they turn it into a fucking business. And it's kind of speaking gnarly. of of suits fucking things up. Do Jesus you guys Christ. feel like the suits have come in? into the cannabis industry and like fucked up any of what you guys are doing. Huh. If your name's Chad or Brad, don't try to sell <laughs> weed because I won't Chad. buy it from you. What's up guys? This is Chad. If you wear any sort of salmon <laughs> color shirt and or pants or plaid, I don't want to buy your weed from you. <laughs> but Why? Do you guys feel that? Do you I know. Feel I like, like salmon. Do you guys feel like the, the, <laughs> it's the big suit <laughs> guys are coming in or not? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. They're here. You like, feel it. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. They well, are here and it is. A thing. There's a lot of people that, I mean, think about the evolution of the cannabis industry, right? A lot of people were putting their lives on the line and taking right. risks. And then now that it's legal, a lot of people are coming in that know nothing about it. You right. know, that they're like, okay, here's all my money, yeah, but I know nothing it about it. And so they're just like kind of navigating this industry in a, a little bit different of a direction well, than people the people that have been like, them, yeah, sure. exactly. But they also don't know. And so they'll but come in with thing, like though. it's like product or whatever that isn't really up to par with everything going on but they're just throwing money at it so so the mon pot things are more what you're looking at i'm gonna slide in because this, this, this is our boy nick please so preach it's our yeah, manager. Nick. preach so our manager. i i have a strong i would normally wouldn't jump in on your guys podcast oh please so jump this is in. your but podcast I have a, I have too, a daddy. strong 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 opinion about corporate he's naked right now so you guys know right? <laughs> and all these these people that are jumping in like there's there's brands and there's people yeah. out there that have hundreds of millions of dollars and they're throwing it in this industry right really and, oh dude it's crazy it's man. insane it is crazy a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, they've probably a, never it's, it's not weed life. money bro it's, no, it's, it's different it's, kinds it's, of on a whole yeah. other level it's it's absolutely there's, insane. there's so much corporate money getting brought into this thing and i and i look at it because we're building a company and i'm like yo do we want to we haven't taken a single investor in our company we haven't had a, a wow. grassroots that's what it is right Love we it. haven't had um anything from from uh private equity 
everything's been our own money. Everything's been put back into it. Everything's been been us. Um, but you look at another company, and like, I mean, I don't, I'm not even gonna say names out there, but we know. I mean, I know you're talking. You about. You know who I'm I talking exactly about. You're talking and their 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 business model is to take the market shares, lose money for the first two years, push every mom and pop shop out yep. of this industry. It's about the and money. It's straight race the to the and, bottom. And, and yeah, race to the bottom and doesn't. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, there's. They, they put brands like us out of business. Is that why my stocks are down? Yeah. yeah. They, 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 it might be. Every day, money, poor money. I'm losing money every day. <laughs> 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 Everyone's like, you should invest in these companies. Is that okay? More and every day, story. I lost $100, I lost $100. What the fuck? Yeah. If you're going to support money, a brand, do the research on the brand, because nine Absolutely. times out of ten, you're buying corporate weed. 100%. You yeah. Know who you're buying your shit from. Wow. 100%. Top, top three brands right now. Go. Top three brands. Um, I'm going to go Yali Bird because we fucking Ow. love them. They got Fuck some yeah. fire ass shit. Shout out. Um, and they are really cool. I'm like, going to go with some concentrates. I've, I'm, I'm repping this shirt right now, but Cali Kosher kills it in the concentrate that. game right yeah. now. Um, Apex has some great stuff with them as well. Um, and then you I'm going to top four. You guys are believing. You guys actually I have believe. a lot like, of. I, I know. I have, a, I have a lot of companies. Let's see. Who I do I not want to piss right off today? <laughs> um, but you believe, my mom, you believe in me. Oh, 100. percent Like I, I, I back these companies. When I say that, like, I've been smoking weed for a long time, man. I, I consider myself a connoisseur of How cannabis. How old are you? 22, 28. 28. Yeah, you look, you're like 28. five. <laughs> <laughs> I've been smoking for a long time, but no, in that it's like you, you can definitely tell the, the products that are good, that are like made with care and the knowledge and like the compassion that really is kind of drives a great business. So in that, yeah, those two top two, I'll give those ones. I'm trying to think of one like another one. No, I don't need time. Wild edibles are really good right now. They're super fire. Wild yeah. edibles. Yeah. Sounds good. like a mushroom company. <laughs> Wild is really other good. Co- I really like Kana. Kana edibles are fire. Kana. Puffin Lally Barkley Bird. for their tinctures. Chemistry. 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 I'm wearing huge. Moonmade Farm shirt Hell yeah. because yes. they grew the CBD for chemistry. Shout out Soul Grow too girl, from Mendocino. We <laughs> I love know them. how many people give me shout out. <laughs> and know how question: that How do you guys know each other? Do you guys know each other from working, or are you guys? We've been friends for a long dating, time. Dating or yeah, you he's guys, a cutie. We want to yeah. know. All, we want to know all the tea right Drake, now. Drake, Drake. <laughs> uh, we met a what, how, how many years ago? I don't know. I'm gonna say like four. Five, yeah, four or four five, five years ago. Drake yeah. Me that you're and now it's uh. Now we're chilling. Yeah, now we're a thing. That's us. Very it's nice. Just, yeah, I'm not Sorry, very public. Guys. With do you guys stuff, live? Do you guys live together? We don't. I apologize. We don't live together. <laughs> well, hey, no, we it's, get, it's all good. You're personal. No, it's, it's not. It's they're good. more He's than just cute. their business. He's, He's been trying for a long time, so. So yeah. he, so he <laughs> wants to move in, but you, you're like, hold on, hold on, pump hold on. The no, break. I think she wants me to move in, but I'm like, go pump the Oh, interesting. Okay, well, well. Well, you guys could just both move out of e- where you live and then find a new place. We could do that, yeah, 100%. Because then that's that's compromise. Somewhere right there. by the beach is nice. I would just so. sell weed. I love my house. How would I sell weed? I'm cr- no, I'm he just, just said I'm just, just, just sell weed. weed. Oh, I mean, no, but they don't talk to people outside of their fucking Look, business. Don't I do. talk to the gay guy. They're going to get. <laughs> I love this person. We need. I no, do, so, I do sell weed. It's legal weed, man. I will take him to you. I'm yours. Anything to get away from this fat baby. I will bring him to you. <laughs> no, you are right. That's called being a pimp. She, she, oh, she I, 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 I have to call you daddy. Wow, yeah. I have to call you daddy. Wait, where's that? Where's that? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. You're a free pimp. <laughs> he said, "Don't do that." Wait, then. Okay, Pause. so if you guys are living separately, where does Barry White live? He's my dog. Okay, so you, yeah. there's no. It's not like a co-parenting shit. This is no. like this is. He tries to steal dog. him all the time. Yeah. yeah. Very, he he also anything. comes to Treehouse with me, and so he's kind of a shop dog too. He has a little corner of the office. He's gonna be a little like slut. Everyone, he just. Oh, he loves it. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, when you, when you had a felony. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it? Oh, what, how many was it? Was it one, two, or three? <clears throat> I got three. I, I, I just, <laughs> I had, a, I had a felony. <laughs> I had a felony. We had to get. Do you still need a license or a little uh, ID card to get weed? No, so that's the difference no. between recreational yeah. and medical. Or so medical. you can Valid be 18 and ID. get a rec. You 18. can also be over 18 and get a rec, and you get a discount usually, but you can buy more. So if you take the time to s- and spend the like $70 to get a medical rec, you can end up with, you can buy more at a dispensary. But if you don't, that's recreational. My friend's a teacher, and she gets a discount for being a teacher. Yeah, which, we, which we, really cool. we do that as well, like an educational discount, students and teachers. Mm-hmm. Years ago, I'd go to Oakland and get a special card to you know be a caregiver mm-hmm. or user or whatever. And yeah, that stopped. You don't have to um, in the January th- of 2018. I think a lot of people still do not know that. 
Can I talk well, to good them? for them because they're getting a discount on they're it without even understanding well, why. Still know that. Senior, nice senior to, disc, discounts. To listen, that you could literally right now, as of today, weed is legal in California in a way. So you can't really go on the street smoking it and run cops and be a dick. I mean, you could. I do. But I've done you know, it before <laughs> multiple times. I mean, you shouldn't do it. You're going to be a I dick. I mean, they're not going to get mad at you. Don't be like obviously be super gnarly, but like at the same time, they're not going to do anything. But in California, you could literally go buy. I was over 18. You're a legit. Oh, oh. oh my God. Jimmy, Don't judge me. Spilling wine. wine. You can legally go and buy weed at a dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's drinking out of a sippy cup. You a put me on a fucking he's hot He's drinking tub. wine it's out a of a blender, a blender bottle. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's trying to get yoked right now, guys. You Big put me on a fucking hot tub. Fuck if, you. If there's any <laughs> listeners out there that own bottles, we, we need a baby bottle. Can we add this? So legally, people that want to go, so I do have friends that go. I can literally go buy. It. They're still going. I can go buy it. Yes. Yes. I literally yes. still have friends that ask me that. I go, yeah, you go, dude, you go buy it. Especially Berkeley, not in Contra Costa County, but it's, for, it's funny. You're as what you're talking about. You think everyone should know everything that we know because we're in it, you but know? They, but they don't. They don't. And there's a lot of people, they you really know, don't. that aren't following anything. So you're absolutely right. There's really a lot of people that don't, don't understand don't that they could go buy weed at the store that they live next to. You and, know? and well, so in our county, I don't think we have it. I think it's Berkeley. Some people go to certain Berkeley. places have it. Some places don't. Um, like Fresno is an area that they don't have any recreational shops, and so no. that's. And like, Contra County, we don't. We have, I think, two or one. It's old school, but people always go to Berkeley or something like that. But people still ask me, "Hey, can, I'm like, dude, you can literally go buy weed." No, no, and they're still freaked out. Like, I don't know. They're like, still calling their guy. On, yeah, they're texting their guy, waiting for the like. I'll be there in 15 like, minutes. I'll be the, that exactly. last four like, hours. We're more <laughs> in the loop. In the loop, but they're really still actually. Same thing. They're really calling her to like, they're just so freaked out about. Which is um, funny because the guy that they're calling is going to the dispensary and right. they're just showing up <laughs> in their house and taxing no, them not. like $25. No, no, no. Trust me, no, no, no. <laughs> trust, trust me, no, no. <laughs> So uh, since you guys are in NorCal, are you guys ever coming down to SoCal or anywhere else? Because we have listeners all over the U.S. Yeah. Oh, you look at the branch. Are there like, uh, you guys, are there plans for other shops? There are or? plans for other shops, and um, one especially is in the works right now. Um, I don't know how much detail I can go into it personally, but um, there we did get accepted for one of the only licenses, but that's or in Capitola, which is a neighboring Ooh, like Capitola. suburb of Santa Cruz. So okay. we're kind of it's branching out there, there but there is plans to branch out much Capitola. further. And so maybe, I think each maybe SoCal. Yeah, we'll, we'll, hopefully. That would be great. Yeah, that would be great. I'd love to walk down there. Maybe My I can do events and yeah. art, art That's creations art. all over. <laughs> and nobody yeah. knows where Capitola is, but it's like next to Santa Cruz. Capitola is a cool little place. A cool, badass little like village yeah you guys should come down and check out the shop the art is amazing the artists we work with are really dope well. like so. capital is like badass. we play my band plays a lot at the catalyst cool. yeah she was in pleasure point <gasps> so pleasure point's like a same thing a I feel like, uh china or is that beach I just kept <laughs> uh, what what do you text us what do you think jimmy just said there just now <laughs> okay that's got we're gonna cut that You're in and, uh, we have little too. we have little snippets that, uh, well, a hot we'll, we'll say what do we think he's here. saying and i'm sitting with you fucking bunch of fucking sausage festival well my excuse me my, I'm right here. <laughs> not you beautiful sorry <laughs> i take that back not you beautiful <laughs> jesus jimmy this the your dick is so small you don't you can't be a part of the sausage festival. You know I just bought some cheaters like now I could jerk off. <laughs> what did you what did you say? <laughs> they said cheaters? Little cheaters? You know cheaters? Right. Oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> done, Jimmy. We're almost done. Uh, I'm so close. Uh, almost done. How about cheaters? You know cheaters that little glasses you buy for like dollars. Oh cheaters. <laughs> cheaters. Cheaters. Gotcha. Yeah. They're little yeah, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about cheaters? I, I said cheaters. Okay. I did too. No, I we got, we'll wrap it up. So, can you guys go ahead and uh, tell us all of your social media? Plug, plug, yes. plug, 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 so hair plugs. So, Instagram is treehouse underscore community. Please follow us. We're dope. And then we also, our website is our treehouse. Dot io that's listing all of our events that we do all of the artists that we're working with what vendor days are happening what specials we've got going on and you can also order online through that website our treehouse.io and we're at 3651 socal drive in socal california there thank, she is thank you guys so much for coming yeah. and uh, we'll see you guys next thank time you. Cheers, bye. Ah. Cheers. This show is produced by Christopher McCone. The theme song is Skies by Miles to Nowhere. Our main sponsor is Yollybird. That's J-A-H-L-I-B. 
www.yrd.com. Check out our merchandise store at theshitshow.store and go ahead and rate us on iTunes. See you next week. Oh, well.